Sean is a, an amazing storyteller, as is Chris. And they both were finishing up projects back in 2010. And for Don, he was finishing up Winnie the Pooh. And he's trying to figure out what is the next film, what am I going to do? And um, his two loves in life are Disney animation and Marvel comic books. He's a big comic book geek. Essentially, he went to John um, Lasseter, our boss, and said, you know, John, I'm really interested in maybe approaching Marvel. We had just uh, acquired them uh, in 2009 and seeing if we might be able to do something with their characters. And John said, absolutely, and met with Marvel. Marvel was interested. They opened up the doors to their vaults, and Don uh, found Big Hero 6. We have what is known as a story trust. And essentially what our story trust is, is our directors as a group work together. And as that group, they work together on every individual project. They're master storytellers. And then they become kind of master consultants for the directors working on the film. Um, and in this particular case, we actually added Joe Casada, who is the chief creative officer of Marvel, and a fellow by the name of Jeff Loeb, who is the head of television entertainment in Los Angeles for Marvel, they joined our story trust. And literally, we show that film every 12 weeks to the story trust and have really in-depth, passionate discussions about what we're trying to do. I think that's why these films are so strong from a storytelling standpoint. So Mr. Kabuki was using ESP to attack you and Balloon Man. When it comes down to it, there are kind of three tenets that I think we build films around. And, and, and one is build a world that is phenomenal, that people want to go to and want to be in. But the second is tell a story that is compelling and engaging. So it's emotionally compelling, but also comedically and, and, and action-wise is exciting. And then the third and most important is really character. Make characters that you fall in love with. And if you can do all three of those things, you know, find a world that you want to exist in, tell a story that's really compelling, and find characters that you love, then you've got a Disney animated film. A lunatic in a mask just tried to kill us. How cool is that? I mean, it's scary, obviously, but how cool! <laughs> Each time you tell the story, you tell it slightly different. And this is a story, an amazingly compassionate story about a boy and a robot, and a robot who helps heal this boy. Um, it's also a superhero origin story, which is something we've never done in animation. Technology is the thing that really is amazing in this film. Uh, this visually will be unlike any film you've ever seen. We have a brand new rendering uh, system that we built specifically for this film, uh, which we call Global Illumination, and it, it makes th the screen come alive. I mean, really, when, when, when you see the imagery in this film, uh, I think you're going to be shocked. Harry, baby. Harry, baby.